Uh, don't miss. Problem Red's gonna ice him. Does Madden Elite have ice in his veins? A 49-yard field goal to send this to overtime to stay alive in the Charters Club Championship. Ball is down, the kick is up, and it is good. Stretch run left side for Hall, gets around the edge. He's to the 20, 15, 10, 5. He's not mad and mediocre, he's mad and elite, and he has upset the greatest of all time, and is in to the final 32 as your Chargers Club Champion. YouTube, what is going on, guys? No, it is not your man, Navridge. Your boy, Man Elite, back with another video today. Hope you guys are doing fantastic, guys. Today, they introduced this AP update that's going to happen, I think, tomorrow from whenever I'm posting this. So, in this AP update, you guys can see here right away, AP limit update. Defense AP limit increased to 18 AP. No change on the offensive AP limit. Now, the very first thing you see right here, offensive AP update, escape artist plus five AP on all QB archetypes. If you guys are brand new to the channel, make sure you guys do hit that subscribe button and turn your notification bell on so you guys don't miss when I upload a new YouTube video. So if you still somehow plan to use Escape Artist, you're going to have to use somebody like Derrick Henry. Joe Namath was really good because he got Escape Artist, Pass Lead Elite, and Hot Route Master, but you're not gonna be able to use that anymore. So what does this mean? I think Escape Artist is going to be dead. Why? Because of the defensive AP update. I'm going to tell you guys how to prepare for it. If you guys were using escape artists, if you guys were tired of escape artists, I'm going to tell you guys today how to prepare for it. Here you can see the defensive AP update. Linebackers, I don't really think is anything to be concerned about. I, I, I don't think abilities on linebackers are good anyways. Defensive line, nothing really to worry about there. I mean, inside stuff does go down. Goal line uh, stuff does go down. Enforcer. I mean, I didn't really use any of these abilities anyways. Edge Threat Elite. Edge Threat Elite could be something to look at now that it's down one AP. That could be something that a lot of people are using. Edge Threat Elite will have under pressure built in. So that's probably one ability that people are going to go to now. Now, real quick, let's shift on over to the game over here. I'm going to tell you guys what abilities I think are going to be used. What abilities I think are going to be good. I already took off escape artists. I'm probably going to try out some other abilities before I even try to go back to escape artists. I don't think I'm going to go back to escape artists anytime soon. So in my opinion, Joe Namath is definitely the best quarterback in the game by far. Now, the offensive AP is being untouched, so it's still 14 AP limit. I think one ability that's going to be really good is going to be fearless. Why? Because a lot of people are going to be using edge threat elite. A lot of people might be throwing on some under pressures. So fearless might be one ability that you might want to consider. If you're using Joe Namath, Hot Route Master and Pass Lead Elite, I think are musts. And then on this first slot, I mean, you can really put anything you want. You can put Conductor if you wanted. Conductor might be really good. Uh, in my opinion, though, I might do something like Sideline Deadeye or Long Range Deadeye. Now that's going to give you a lot more AP to be able to put Route Tech, to be able to put Man Abilities, some Post Ups maybe. I'm a big fan of using two post ups on my two guards. So that might be something that I go back to. I wasn't using it with escape artists because I did not have the AP for it, but two post ups on each guard might be something I go back to. I always like having a route tech just in case I play somebody that's blitzing everybody running deep route KOs or one steps. Always like having at least one route tech. Again, that's something you're not going to be able to have with Derrick Henry. If you do keep using escape artists or any quarterback with escape artists, really, you're not going to be able to have those man beating abilities. Now for the defensive side, the defensive side is going to be interesting because Acrobat is being untouched. One step is being untouched. I think one step is going to be an ability that's going to be really, really good, especially here in the slot. 335 wide is a defense that I kind of went away from because Escape Artist was so good and you can kind of just glitch the contains whenever you try to send five. But now that people can have Escape Artist with it being plus five AP, they're not going to be able to have any man be beating abilities. So I think having one step in the slot, even though you're going to pay four AP for it, it's not going to go up in AP. I think it's going to be really, really good. If you do happen to have a Raiders theme team, maybe having Cordero Patterson right here with the three AP one step acro and human joystick might be really good. And then on the D line, maybe having a couple edge threat elites. How much AP is edge threat elite? I haven't really looked at the ability recently, so let's go ahead and look at how much edge threat elite is on these guys i don't think does dwight freeney get edge threat elite 
um i don't re i don't really remember what the icon looks like let's go ahead there it is there it is edge threat elite is 4 ap so that's interesting because tomorrow it's actually going to be 3 ap on any d lineman it's actually going to go down 1 ap so d defensive ends and d tackles edge threat elite is going to be 3 ap so it's pretty much going to give you under pressure and better pass rush moves so this this is definitely going to be an ability that a lot of people are going to start using i think now also we're going to look at under pressure under pressure is going to be 2 ap this is something that you can put on your entire defensive line and still pretty much keep all of your old abilities or put two under pressures whatever abilities you were using before ap is going to go up from 14 to 18 so you can easily just put two under pressures on the d line and call it a day this is why i've been saying that fearless on the quarterback is probably going to be really really good there's going to be a lot of people running either under pressure or edge threat elite now one other thing that might also kill escape artists or just having escape artists in general uh not necessarily stop you from rolling out or anything like that but you're going to be absolutely bagged if somebody decides to have three one steps and three aggros before with the ap that we had you couldn't do that but now that the ap has gone up to 18 you can actually have one step acro even if you don't have the out of position cordero patterson that gets one step acro for the three ap you're going to be able to put one step acro on all three of your cornerbacks and if you're playing somebody with escape their receivers are just not going to be able to get open so that's actually not a bad choice of abilities right now wide one step acro kind of giving me flashbacks to last year one step acro might be really really good again only if your opponent has somebody like derrick henry if you're gonna be if you're playing against somebody with joe namath a bunch of man man beating abilities they have post-ups it, it's not gonna work that defense is not gonna be good but it's it's gonna absolutely kill any escape artist users still in the game now if you do happen to have cordero patterson that gets all three of those abilities or one step aggro or the three ap you're still gonna be able to put some d-line abilities you're still going to be able to put one step acro on your other two corners and maybe even put acro on your user. Maybe put some abilities on the safeties, put some flat zone KOs on your outside backers. It, it's going to be a lot harder to move the ball if you do have that Cordero Patterson with the Raiders theme team. So let's go ahead and jump back on over to this screen right here. The other thing that kind of jumps out at me is edge protector plus one AP on all offensive line archetypes. I don't know why edge protector would go up. I really don't especially with them dropping edge threat elite down one ap on all d ends and d tackles i don't know why they would do that i mean if a lot of people are using edge threat elite edge protectors might be something that might get good in the game especially if you don't have a uh, escape artist i don't know edge protectors might be something that would have been good but with it going plus one ap that's that's definitely not going to be something that i even touch to be honest so guys, let me know what you guys think about the AP update. Are you guys still going to be using escape artists? Are you guys not going to be using escape artists? Are you going to use a hot route master pass lead elite quarterback? Let me know down in the comments what you guys are going to go with. And what do you guys think about the defensive AP going up? In my opinion, that definitely kills escape artists a lot more with the defensive AP going up to 18 because there's going to be a lot more defensive abilities that people can use now to counter escape artists or to counter any routes on the field. So I think the defensive AP update is a W. I like it. I'm a fan of it. And I'm a fan of them not changing the offensive AP limit. Uh, and I do like the plus five AP to all quarterback archetypes for escape artists. Now, are some people still going to use escape artists? Definitely. Uh, I think if you have Derrick Henry, you can still manage to fit in escape artist pass lead elite in slot apprentice. Like I said, those are the only three abilities you're going to be able to fit you're not going to have any man beating abilities any catching abilities anything like that it's going to be really hard to play offense with just that you're really going to have to rely on escape artists that much more so yeah again let me know down in the comments what you guys think about the ap update and hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video if you guys are brand new to the channel make sure you guys do hit that subscribe button and turn your notification bell on so you guys don't miss when i upload a new youtube video and i will catch you guys in the next video as always Stay safe. Peace.